I was absolutely not trying to influence you into backing off ELQ. Okay. I've seen you around the hospital several times, and I think it's where you're at your best. Not like when you're with the Quartermains, you are not your best there. So, if your lawsuit had been successful, you would have been stuck with this difficult squabbling family business and not here helping people. So, yeah, I was happy when you chose your medical career over ELQ. And that's not because I wanted to win for the Quartermains. It's because I think you're a good and caring doctor. At least you were with me when my baby was born. I was. <laughs> Lucky me. You were so impressive. Here. I, I, I mean that. I... Maxie, here you are in the woods. You're giving birth to a baby. And you're not panicking. You don't seem frightened at all because you're just concerned for the well-being of a child. All you cared about was your baby. I admire you. Don't admire me too much. One of the reasons I was happy you dropped your lawsuit is because I couldn't listen to Brooklyn complain about you every time I saw her. I hated being stuck in the middle. And I like you too much to let Brooklyn badmouth you. Maxie and Sasha aren't just my friends. They're also my bosses. And they happen to be very savvy and smart businesswomen. There's no way they're going to believe I gave you a corporate credit card for personal shopping and massages. Hmm. Well, then you should have done the right thing last night when I played you that recording on my phone. Yeah, I should have grabbed your phone and destroyed the recording. <laughs> Do you think I was born yesterday? I made copies of the recording and stashed them in multiple locations. You're an experienced blackmailer. What a shock. The right thing would have been for you, as a Quartermain heiress, to pay me with your money. And Sasha and Maxie won't be any wiser. Then I wouldn't have to break the heart of that elegant injured man in that room. Oh, Valentine is so sophisticated. He even looks good in that hospital gown. Here, take my credit card. I'll call account management and let them know you're authorized to use it. Now, will that buy your silence? For now. Oh. I am so sorry about Gladys Corbin. She was definitely hinting that she had information on something. What exactly did she say? Something about virtue and my girlfriend. Oh. Like I said before, she's definitely drunk. And she was trying to win points with you since you have a vested interest in deception, so. And how's it going, working with her as your assistant? Honestly, she's a total nightmare. So get rid of her. I can't. Why not? Well, I'm working with her as a favor to Sasha. She's driving Sasha and Brando crazy. I actually feel a little sorry for Gladys. You know, being a mother has changed you. You're a lot more patient and generous. You're going to be a wonderful role model for our daughter. It's a very kind thing you just said. I appreciate it. Well, you're a good guy. Thanks. Okay, now I'm going to go see what got Brooklyn so worked up. I'm just happy it's not me for once. Yeah, not this time. Right.